Hey guys, what's up? And today we are going to be modifying my chronograph, mostly because I've been using it indoors a lot recently, and although it has these light diffusers on the top, I found that occasionally you'll get a reading where it just won't process, or you'll get like an error or something weird, uh, and that's mostly due to the lack of light. Now, I usually use these large lights for filming, however, sometimes I will occasionally point it at this just to help it out, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to set that up every time. So I figured I'd modify this one just to make it a bit easier to use wherever and I don't have to worry about setting up any additional equipment. So let's get started. Okay, so here's what I'm going to use for this mod. I got some LED strips that run off of three AA's. So I'm going to use those to provide hopefully all the extra light we will need. Uh, I got a rechargeable 9 volt because I always leave this thing on. So I just figured that was worth mentioning. Then to attach that, we're going to just use some hot glue. These come with adhesive backing, which is hopefully good enough. Otherwise, we'll just glue it on. Uh, we'll need some extra wire. This is a three-strand one. I'm going to only use two of the strands. A little bit of heat shrink tubing and then some soldering supplies. So it looks like in total I'll have enough to put about two of these strips on each light diffuser for a total of four, which should be plenty of light. So I'm going to start cutting them adhering to them to the actual diffusers, and then I'll start soldering all my wires. Okay, so this is what our diffusers look like now with the strips attached. I'm going to go ahead and wire it up. It's also worth noting that I just took an X-Acto knife and I cut away the little weatherproofing gel sort of stuff that goes over the top of the strips, just so that I can get a clean solder onto those joints. The wiring is pretty simple. You just follow the positive and negative straight through all the way to the end continuing whenever you split it off at a end section. The LED strips themselves have a positive and negative mark on them, so just follow that to ensure you don't cross the wires at any point and you should be good to go. So as you can see here, when I turned the switch on the battery pack to the on position, the LED strips all come on and provide a good amount of light in addition to whatever light is in your environment, so this should help with any faulty readings and improve the accuracy of the chronograph. I hope this helps you guys out, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below, and I will do my best to answer. As always, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in another video.